physical health mental health social well being last but not least fourth dimension is the spiritual spirituality not merely absence of disease so this yoga helps at the physical level mental level at the spiritual level and it cures lot of diseases at the physical level like psychosomatic elements like the diabetes tension headache tension diarrhea blood pressure heart attack strokes wheezings asthma joint pains and what not so yoga is the best exercise when compared to any other exercises so even it helps at the mental level like mental quietening calm downing soothing and mental relaxation and at the spiritual level it gives us the happiness the bliss what not and yoga is so good because it activates all systems in our body even endocrine glands like pituitary thyroid pancreas and the adrenal glands and also it gives complete relaxation and also we have in yoga the pranayama session that is the breath control system this activates our whole respiratory system and it gives good oxygenation nutrition to the each part of the cells so yoga is the best exercise and it increases the blood circulation in the smaller vessels like micro vessels so overall the yoga is the best the best the best no doubt in that so 
let us start the yoga practice before going to the yoga practice let us do salutation to the mother earth Before going to yoga session, let us start some of the loosening exercise. So it loosens our body. So we have this loosening exercise from toes to head. Breathe in and lift. And try to stand on your toes. Breath out. Breathe in. Breath out. Now we have for the knee joint clockwise, anti clockwise. Now for the hip joint, legs apart, fix your body, rotate in a clockwise and anti clockwise. Now for the backbone, we have forward and backward bending and in our body this backbone from head to thigh is very very important and this we should give importance breathe in and go back breath out like that and we have one more side bending Now we have one fist for the vertebral cord. Let's apart. Now for the shoulders. Clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Now for the elbows. Now for the wrist, we call it as Adi Mudra. Up and down movements. Right and left. Rotation in a clockwise. Now in the reverse direction, anti-clockwise. Now for we have each finger. Contraction, relaxation. Now we have for the neck exercise. Up and down movements of the neck. Now we have left and right. Now towards the shoulders. Now we have neck rotation. For this legs apart fix your body. Rotate in a clockwise. Let it be a big circle. Reverse. You make it giddiness. Please stop it. We have eye exercise. Fix your head and rotate your eyeball on eyeballs on up and down movements of the eyeball. Right and left. Rotation in a clockwise. Reverse direction. Heart formation with the eyes. Rub your hands nicely. Make up shape. Just keep smoothly on the eyeballs. Don't press it. Here, breathe in and breath out. Relax. Now we have good exercise for the heart. We have the jogging. So Adi Mudra, 
jog in your free way. Jog on the doors. Increase it. Let your knees touch the buttocks. Relax. Now we have front. See that your knees face the sky. Relax. Now we have side. Try to touch your elbows. Slow. Maybe we have jogging. Jump to the sky. Relax. Now we have straight. See that your legs parallel to the ground. Relax. Mukha Dauti. Breathing through the nose, breath out through the mouth. Stand erect. Close your eyes. Just keep your right hand on the right side of left side of the chest. And feel the heartbeats. It is fast. Your respiration is also fast. Close your eyes. Now we have salutation of the sun. Om Hiran Mayena Bhattena Satya Syapihitam Mukham Padvam Oshanna Apavrano Satya Dharmaya Drushtaye Om Ram Mitraya Namaha Stand erect. Join your feet together. Namaskar Buddha. Urdhvasana. Breathe in and go back. Bend as much as you can. Now breathe out and bend forward. Stretch your left leg backwards. Fold your right leg completely and try to look at the sky. Stretch your other leg. Body should be 45 degrees. Now Bhudarasana. Try to touch your heels to the ground completely. Now try to look at the lower abdomen. It's good for the neck. Now Sastanga Pranipadasana. Knees to the ground. Go back. Come forward. Chest and chin on the ground. Breathe in and breathe out here. Now Bhujangasana. Snake posture. Pointed toes. Lie down completely flat on the ground. Breathe in and come up. Your lower abdomen should be on the ground. Repetition. Bhudarasana. Yekapada Prasanasana. Bring your right leg forward. Padhastasana. 
ਹੋਰ ਬਸ ਹਨ ਓਮ ਨਮਸਕਾਰ postures according to your time the 4 10 or 12 ending prayer om shri savitra surya narayanaya namaha the salutation of the sun posture is so important it activates it gives flexion and to the from toes to head it is really good exercise and it cures all the diseases now we will go to standing postures let us practice some of the standing postures we have <coughs> side bending posture ardha chakrasana ardha kat chakrasana breathe in and lift your left hand slowly twist breathe in and lift completely let your arms touch the ears stretch it now bend towards the right this is final posture close your eyes normal breathing smile on the face relax the other parts of the body now breathe in and come up stretch it now breath out and bring it back fist now join to your body now similarly on the other side breathe in and lift twist breathe in and lift completely stretch it bend the other side come back stretch it breathe out twist breath out completely close your eyes the long breath in and breath out try to relax yourself now we have trikonasana stretch your hands the left leg 45 degrees now slowly bend towards the left side your knee should be straight and your right hand should be straight and through the right hand try to look at the sky now breathe in and come back now towards the other side the right side similarly spread out and go back again in the final posture normal breathing smiling face relax the other parts breathe in and come up come to the normal close your eyes breathe in and come up now we have forward bending balasana as we are doing in surya namaskar similarly go back namaskar bend 
power. Steady. Relax my hands and head. Feel the blood flow to the head. Now breathe in and come up. Breath out. Relax your body. Close your eyes. Now we have complimenting for this. <coughs> the Paschimottasana gives benefit for the low back pain. And for the complimentary for this is we have Ardha Chakrasana. In the first step, give support to the low back and slowly bend backwards. Relax your head. Stay there for a while with normal breathing. Breathe in and come up. Relax your hands. Close your eyes. Now in the standing posture, we have balancing posture. On the left side, just point your on the floor and you can stand for a longer time. In each right to stand can counts. Akasha Mudra. Now. Now on the head. On the chest. Relax your hands. Close your eyes. Feel the pain in the right leg. Similarly, on the other side. Stay for 10 counts in each posture. Akasha Mudra. Now, repetition. On the head, on the chest, relax your legs, close your eyes, the benefits of this asana is, it is good for the legs and also it increases the blood circulation on the cerebellum part of the brain. So it's a cerebellum is the balancing portion, balancing brain tissue. So now we have, let us go for the sitting postures. So we have prayer for the Patanjala Maharishi. Yogena Jitasya Padena vacham malam sharirasya cha vaitya kena yopakarotam pravaram muninam patanjalim pranjaliranatosmi so meaning of this prayer is the Patanjala Maharishi is 3 in 1. He says that Kaya Vacha Manasa should be clean. For body cleaning we have Ayurveda. For this walk we have Vyakarana. And for our mind we have Dhyana. So for that Rishi it's our salutation. Now, before going to the sitting postures, let us start some of the loosening exercise. Pashtimottasana Kriye.
Stretch your legs. Forward and backward bending. So by doing this exercise, you can do the sitting postures easily. Yeah, relax. Breathe in and breath out. Now we have sitting postures. This is Stiti. Paschimothasana. Now, first step, breathe in and lift your both hands simultaneously. Now, breathe out and bend forward. And completely bend. And if you can try to touch your knees to the forehead, stay here. Begin the final posture, normal breathing, smiling face, relax the other parts of the body. Breathe in and count. Breath out. Relax. This Paschimottasana is good for the legs, sciatica and also for the low back pain. And we have complimentary for this. We have Ustrasana, camel posture. Fold your left leg, the right leg, stand on the knees. Initially you can do this one. Breathe in and go back. As your body flexes, try to catch hold of your heels and push your stomach and thigh. Relax your head completely. Again, the common rules and the final posture are smiling face, relax the other parts of the body. Normal breathing. Now breathe in and come up. Close your eyes. Breathe in and breath out. Again, this is good for your back portion and the shoulders and the neck. So we have one fist posture for the spinal cord. Artha Chakra. Fold your left leg. Keep your left hand behind the spinal cord. Now with your right hand, try to catch hold of your left wrist. Now through the left shoulder, try to look at the back. Patanjala says, Sthira Sukha Asana. That is the definition for the asana. We should be steady and we should enjoy the bliss. This is Sthira Sukha Asana. Breathe in and come. Now we can repeat on the other side also. Similarly, come back to the norm. Relax. This is fist posture we call it as and is good for diabetes the hip joint, the knee joint, and the shoulders, and the vertebral column, and the neck. Really, it is a good for a lot of parts in our body. And 